So one last thing to talk about here is uh, retraction. So when you're, you're printing with NinjaFlex, and, and really, um, you know, this is a concept that, that uh, is applied to a lot of different materials out there, but uh, when you want to stop a print at one point and start up again at another point, you know, if, if uh, the, the features of your part have, uh, have individual components in them, or if you're printing multiple parts, uh, to not drag strings between those, you'll actually uh, use retraction, and that, that's a setting in your code. Uh, pretty much all software has that capability now. Um, so you'll pull the filament back in order to create, to draw a negative on here, and that, that allows the uh, printed filament to freeze off. You get a good stop, and then you'll start up at another point in your print. And uh, with the retraction, in general, you can get very high quality prints with NinjaFlex, but in some uh, extruders, it can, it can also cause a problem because often you're retracting at a very high rate and you're, you're pulling that filament back out. If you pull the filament far enough back out that um, the, the material is hot where it's coming in contact with your, your nip rollers, that can, that can uh, cause problems with jams. So the modulus of, of thermoplastics drops significantly as temperature increases which means, again, this unsupported length becomes more and more critical. So if, if your extruder is a compact design and you retract a long distance, then uh, that hotter material is going to be um, less tolerant of a gap in this region and, and can cause issues. So in general, two to three millimeters of retraction, you're fine. That gives you good quality prints and doesn't cause problems. In some extruders, though, you can have voids here uh, where the, the nozzle is uh, engaged, so say the nozzle screws in and then the heater uh, screws onto the barrel like this. If there's a gap here bet between those two parts, um, the filament, the melted material, will kind of create a bulb there and fill that region. And then when you go to retract, you'll be pulling that material back up. And if there are any steps or there, if there's roughness in, in that barrel, that bolt can cause problems with your print. So uh, retraction is, is definitely important and effective with printing NinjaFlex, but with some extruders out there, it can cause problems. So again, if you're, you're just starting out with NinjaFlex and you're not able to get good prints, turn off retraction for a while, um, see if the material prints effectively, and um, then you can start playing around with retraction in order to get rid of strings and, and, and get better print quality.